Where is my wig? Where are several wigs? They're all snatched. What up, hunty? Welcome to Weight of Yao. Before we get into anything, are you guys living for the new eyebrow? I've been rocking this for a couple of days now and I'm feeling low key snatched. Tell me if you guys like it in the comment section and let me know what is up. So for this video, we are not gonna be working on the face or on the hair. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We gonna talk about music. Now, so much music has been dropping recently that my wig has just been snatched. Edges are fully removed, there is nothing left. We will be talking about music and what has what has snatched my hair in such a way. And I'll be telling you why I like each of these particular songs. The Queen is back. Onika Tanya Mirage has been dropping some new music, which is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. Now she dropped Barbie Tings and she dropped Chun Li. And the one that is gonna be on this list is Barbie Tings. I feel as though Chun Li, uh, uh it didn't really scalp me, like my edges were still, they were lifting, but they were still, you know, they were still in place. My wig didn't quite fall back. <laughs> Guys, I'm talking so much shit, but my wig was still in place and Chan Lee didn't really do the most for me. I feel as though Barbie Tings really encaptured, it really captured the old Nikki from like mixtape days, the Nikki that we all, that I fell in love with. And I just wanted to hear Roman again, I wanted to hear Martha, and I really feel as though she is going back to that. And that is what I love. Now that is what I like about like, you know, her coming back with all of that stuff. However, I feel as though she came at the wrong time. She should not have dropped the music as Cardi dropped her album. She was definitely trying to do something a little bit shady, I feel. I don't know for sure. I'm just, yeah. I feel as though it was something a little bit shady, you know. Cardi's dropping an album, let me try and take a little bit of the shine. That's what it felt like, but I don't know. Who knows? And also, I feel as though her two songs didn't do as well as they could have done because, you know, there's another female rapper releasing music at exactly the same time, basically. So, first spot goes to Onika Tanya Mirage with Barbie Tings, and I cannot wait for the video to come out as well. I saw little clips of it, and that was also like making me bald. <laughs> no joke. Next on the list is actually going to go to Dua Lipa. One Kiss is called. I was not living for that song at all when I first heard it. In fact, the first couple of times I heard it, listen, if, if anything, my wig got tighter on my head. Nothing was snatched in any way whatsoever. I was not living for One Kiss in any way whatsoever. However, I heard it like on a night out in the club and sis it was popping like it it did what it needed to do for me i was actually living for that song in particular and since that time i can actually appreciate the song and i can actually live for the song and i feel as though had other good music been dropped at the same time that probably would not have made it onto the list it's only made it onto the list because i feel it's dropped at a nice time where there's not too many sickening songs out like a summertime song do you know what I mean there's not many songs like that out at the moment so I think that her and her team did a good job dropping that when summer's coming sis like we is ready and we are ready to shake a leg or two or three or four depending on how many legs you have second spot I'm gonna give to Cardi with she bad now I'm not gonna lie to you there's not many songs on her album that I actually like I wasn't living for many of the songs. I'm not gonna lie, I feel as though Cardi, what attracts us to Cardi is her personality. The music is, some of it's nice, the lyrics and like the flows, is it as intricate and as you unique and technical as I'd like it to be? Probably not. But you know, um, she cute, music is cute and she bad she bad money bad it just you know it just it's got me snatched you know what i mean the next one is going to go to ariana grande with no tears left to cry now the song is cute she's made better music in the past however the music video sis 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 sis, sis. my good 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 sis that music video Listen, if I ever make a music video, whoever directed that video needs to direct my video, okay? It looks as though she probably stood in front of a green screen, or maybe a couple different green screens with a couple different props, and created this amazing 
alternate universe around her and it was just so well thought out the video made it into a masterpiece I absolutely love the video how she's like dangling from the ceiling and then she's walking like on the walls and shit I'm just like sis like if we could all like do the exorcism shit I would be here for it I would be walking on the walls too so fourth spot is gonna go to Ariana Grande keep on snatching wigs sis and lastly I am going to give the fifth spot to Lady Alicia Lady Alicia has been a favorite of mine for such a long time I remember listening to her before people were even like into like Lady Alicia back when grime was a thing I was in secondary school that's how many years ago at least maybe what six seven years ago when I first heard Lady Alicia I saw she did like a freestyle and she was wearing like a suit sort of thing like a woman's suit sort of thing and she it was I think it was hot bars 64 60 64 Hot 64, something like that, back when like SBTV was mega and big and stuff like that. I absolutely loved watching that and to see her finally like getting the recognition she deserves. I feel as though it's been such a long time coming. She should have been had the recognition from like years ago, her flows. And when she did the Buster Rhyme, um, look at me now, that one with the Chris Brown, that remix that she did. Where is my wig? Where are several wigs, they're all snatched. And when she dropped the Wakanda, I feel as though it was just, I just love it, I just love it. It was a short little piece, but it definitely snatched me. And everything she brings out, I am here for. When she did the Queen speeches, I was here for. When she did the Wakanda, Lady Leisha has been grinding from day dot, okay? That is the top five. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. And if you don't, if you don't, give it a thumbs down like you're free to. Like, so I know you don't want to hear me talk about music. You don't want to hear me talk at all. Leave in the comment section what you actually want to see from your good, good sis. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to like if you haven't already. Don't forget to comment if you haven't already. This is a lot of if you haven't already, already. You know what I mean? Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.